Actually, it is two techniques, but from the same entry, and you have to decide how strong are you, respectively, your opponent, and you have two options out of that. So, same entry for two possible endings. And we have, um, again, the dust, this time from uh, the outside. And um, if five are thrusts at me, so you have to decide who is the attacker, and the attacker attacks, and I just deflect that for my, well, for my own head's sake. And if I am strong, or if my, my partner, my opponent, is strong, and I can't deflect very to the, to the side, I just, um, if you're that strong, do something different. But if I deflect it slightly, but I can't hit him without being hit in return, so I just um, advance, go forward, straight forward, and hook my pommel on his, um, on his wrist. This is a technique, it's called, it's called Straßeglieder. I have no clue how so ever to, uh, to translate that properly. Straße der Glieder, Straße der Handgelenke, uh, road of the wrist, road of the joint, whatsoever. You like it, you name it, everything is possible. And from here, I again am in a twisted hip position, this time the other way around. And now, I just do the return. I untwist again, I bring it to the ground, and now I can do whatever I like. So again, so he does, I deflect, he is strong, I advance a bit in order to put my arm up and I bring him to the ground. Uh, perhaps Piper might want to do that, because um, in fact you have to use the imagination here. But you are, you are restricted in armor. So, um, I am just at Piper being strong, and now he hops, yeah, exactly. And now he, ah, that is uncomfortable. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, you got that? So, just in brief, keep, come, deflect, keep contact, keep contact, advance, and bring your pommel over his right hand. Very important. Okay. You might even bring him down, because as I told you, you will constantly have to need impact. He has an armor, he is a killing and fighting machine too, and you have to make him up. I did miss an important point. I was telling you just now, I missed that one. Yeah. So, if you can, let it, let it, let it. miss it. And this is a tricky thing in armor fencing too. You can't rely on a single technique. I was showing you one technique earlier. That one. It might work, it might not. If it goes wrong, I end up here. And now I can use an ability. And um, if that alternative should go wrong, I use still another alternative. So, you see, one technique leads to the other. Oh man, that is exciting, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, if something goes wrong, it's not only uh, it's not essential, you didn't screw up the technique necessarily. Some techniques go wrong because armor has a shiny and glassy surface. It is supposed to be so, it is designed to be so. It is designed to make things glide. And therefore, what I just did, my father glanced off at the wrong side, I could not hook him. So, I would have done something different.